Hello and welcome back to Teaching Crypto. This is Mr. FOMO and before we get started, if you like the content here, make sure you hit the like button and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. It really helps us out. Starting off today, the SEC is suing crypto trust company Paxos over Binance Stablecoin. They're suing Paxos, who is the mentor of the Pax dollar USDP and Binance USD or BUSD. And they're suing them because they're saying that they're securities and they're unregistered securities. Now, Binance uh, or BUSD has a provisional charter with the Office of the Comptroller of Currency or the OCC. But they, they don't actually regulate currency uh, or securities they are a regulator of banks. Um, they actually issue charters, regulate and supervise banks, savings associations, federal branches, and foreign banks, things like that. So they don't actually have a say, and I'm not sure that's going to help much in this case. Uh, a Binance spokesperson even said BUSD, uh, BUSD's market cap will only decrease over time. Um, however, Paxos is still handling redemption, so it seems that if you do hold BUSD, you'll be able to redeem that for, uh, you know, whatever fiat currency or whatever crypto you'd like to trade it for. But this does seem to signal bad news for BUSD and the PAX dollar. So stay away. That leads us to the CEO of the Blockchain Association, Kristen Smith, saying that a lot of this regulation and a lot of this action that um, that the SEC and the government is taking against cryptocurrency feels like carpet bombing. Now, I, I'm not necessarily in agreement here. I think this is a little bit of hyperbole to get attention. Um, but I do feel like we need a little bit more clarity. We need to know who regulates crypto, who regulates stable coins, who regulates exchanges, who regulates, you know, um, you know, custody, you know, cold storage custody, who regulates wallets, we need to know who's in charge. We can't, we can't have all of these different regulatory bodies going after crypto companies like vigilantes in the Wild West. We need to know who's in charge, and we need to have them legislating rules so that we know what we can buy, what, you know, so that even these companies know what they can do within the United States. Um, you know, it's one of those things where they need to really shit or get off the pot because we've got to know what's what by the next bull run. We need to know what we can buy, what's a security, what's not a security, which of these cryptos we can get our hands on before that next having event and well before that next having event. So if they're going to do something, they need to do it soon. Another another headline today, and I have to laugh when I see this guy's goofy face. Sam Bankman Fried is forced to reveal the names of his bond signers. So eventually we're gonna we're gonna figure out who these people are. And this guy has I mean, these bond signers had to be the ones that wanted to keep their themselves private because this guy has no shame and no privacy. We know he uses VPNs, he just got in trouble with the judge for that. We know he has a hard wallet full of cum rockets. That's been in the news. Why is he fighting this? Why has he been fighting this? This is has to be the 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 signees wanted their privacy. Um, you know, it, this guy. Everything that he does is out there in the open, and I got to tell you, it looks like this guy is doing what every you know, teenager does that lives at home with their parents that has, you know, unfettered use of the internet, uh, at least when it comes to uh, porn, because this former billionaire CEO in a polyamorous, that used to be in a polyamorous relationship living in a penthouse 
is now on house arrest with his parents. And that's all we're hearing is VPNs and all this weird stuff coming out. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe before he lost his billions, he was going to get that winter soldier surgery where he's going to get that cool bionic arm. And now he just needs to train really hard for that. But I don't know. It seems like this guy is just kind of losing it. And now he's going to out the people who put up a lot of collateral to keep him out of jail. And so this guy is just a walking clown show. He's hurting everybody around him. And these people are going to be sorry that they uh, sign their names to his bond agreement. Finally, over the last 24 hours, Blur has been on the move after quite a fall. And they're in a bit of a spat with OpenSea and they're telling their creators to block OpenSea. And so that's what's causing the volatility with them. Other than that, you've got OKB, Render Token, both around 20% up. Optimism, same thing. Flow, similar movement. Uh, these are actually some pretty good projects that you might want to take a look at here in the top 100. Down over the last 24 hours, it's pretty much PAX, <laughs> which we just mentioned. They're, they're having trouble right now being sued by the SEC. Uh, tether, you know, those people that are doing arbitrage. Um, but other than that, you, you see a lot of these stable coins that are down here. The market is on the move. It's on the upswing. Um, so when that happens in the top 100, you get a lot of these stable coins that are the ones that have done the worst. And they're basically flat. Over the last seven days, Mina is up almost 50%, 14 over the last day. Binary X is up almost 40%. GMX is up 30%. HBAR, one of AZ Crypto's favorites, is almost up 30%. Immutable X, a gaming token, one of my favorites, up 23%. And down over the last seven days, Blur, again, that is from their little spat with OpenSea. You've got Frack Share down 12%, Pancake Swap, which is a good exchange. When people come back into the market, they're going to have to go through exchanges, not necessarily through Pancake Swap, but they will have money going through uh, their exchange. So it's a good one to keep an eye on. Chili's is one of our favorites, social token linked to a lot of sports programs, and Axies Infinity, uh, another good one to keep an eye on. That is your movement on the market, and those are your crypto headlines for today, February 15th, and we will see you next time here on Teaching Crypto. Have a great night.